Hey everyone, this video is going to quickly go over the phases of clinical trials as put down by uh, the FDA and the American government. Um, everyone talks about these, but uh, you know very few people remember or know what they are. Um, I'm going to tell you what you need to know for boards and, and for any classes for that, for that matter. Um, just kind of a quick and dirty approach to the phases of clinical trials. So the first one I'm going to talk about is phase one, the beginning. And the key thing here is I know this is a drug that's just a, the, the prototype or the very first one ever that they want to, that they want to test. Uh, this is likely going to be, you know, like a double-blinded, randomized, controlled study where you put people in different groups. Some people get a placebo, some people don't. But the key thing here is that it's going to be a small number of people. So I'm going to draw an arrow down. Small number of people, and they're all going to be healthy. We're not even going to test it on people that have the disease. Now, why is that important? It's important because look at what the purpose is of the phase one clinical trial. And the purpose is to just see, is the drug safe? Meaning if we give it to someone who's super healthy, there should be no uh, serious outcomes. And if there are, well, then we're going to end this drug in phase one of clinical trials and not even allow it to advance. If it's fine or if the side effects are tolerable, then we'll go forward. You know, these are all these safeguards trying to avoid something uh, really bad coming to market. So these, you know, you got to think these people that are volunteering or getting paid to be in a phase one clinical trial are pretty brave individuals to be healthy, yet be exposed to this new prototype of, of a drug. Um, phase two clinical trials is going to be another small group of people, but these people are going to have the disease. I'm going to put a positive sign. They're positive for whatever this drug is trying to treat. So if it's trying to treat, you know, if it's an antihypertensive, these people are going to have high blood pressure. And this is where we're trying to see efficacy. Or does this drug work? We already know it's relatively safe because it made it through phase one trials. Now we're trying to see, hey, does this drug actually work, even though it's just safe? Now, <clears throat> the third phase trial. This is where we're starting to get into uh, the times where drugs either make it or they don't make it. And that's because we're starting to deal with large groups of people. We're randomly assigning them to, to this placebo or this treatment group. And this is really something, like this is something you actually hear about. You know, you typically want to hear about phase one or phase two trials. But phase three trials, this is where like the promising cancer drugs are getting to before the New York Times will pick up on it, right? So like these are the drugs you'll start to hear about are the ones that make it through the safe and the efficacious parts of their uh, trials. Now we're talking, is this something that, that actually we should put money into to bring it to market? So we have a large group of people. These people are going to have, um, <clears throat> they're going to they're gonna be, I already said, they're going to be randomly assigned into different groups. They're going to be treated with a, different, uh, with a different drug. And we're trying to see, is it better? What does that mean? Well, how many antihypertensives are there? There's a lot. And so if we're going to try and bring another one to market and it has, you know, a few side effects and it works marginally, um, is it better than what's currently out there? Is it even worth it? You know, is one of the side effects really bad? Maybe people, you know, go blind uh, and it doesn't really work that well. So then we're going to start comparing and saying, you know, are there other drugs that make cause people to go blind? Do they work better? And if, if it makes through all this, these three trials, then it'll go to market. And what does that mean? Well, that means that people will be able to go out and buy this drug, or at least certain physicians will be able to uh, uh, you know, prescribe this medicine. And that leads us to the last phase, which is phase four of clinical trials. And this is something that occurs after market or post-market research. You know, we're looking back and we're saying, is this really uh, doing the things that we want to? And that's because this will occur sometime in the future, looking for long-term adverse effects, or looking for long-term outcomes. So maybe uh, this pill, if you take it for 10 years, will make your, you know, your arm fall off or whatever. There's no way to know that in phase one through phase three. But uh, in that post-market surveillance where they keep having people come back, that's where uh, you pick that up. And you see commercials for this, you know, all these class action lawsuits that attorneys uh, jump onto because now, 15 years later, this, this miracle drug or whatever, this miracle operation, now in phase four clinical trials, uh, we determine might, actually, might not actually be a good thing. So that's uh, a rough and dirty introduction to the phases of clinical trials. Thank you.